Good and gracious God, in spite of all that we're dealing with, we pray tonight for our brothers and sisters in the Bahamas. For those whose homes have been flooded with four feet of water. For 9,000 houses that are now flattened, leaving 27,000 without shelter. We pray tonight for the children at the border who are living in cages. We pray for those who are living in fear of their lives. We pray for those who have been wrongfully sentenced, prosecuted, and convicted because of their skin and not because of their crime. We pray for a hedge fence of protection for our daughters and nieces who are being subjugated to human trafficking. We pray for those who have to sit out a semester because their parents don't have the resources to be in school. Now, God, we pray for strength for the person whose hands we're holding so that we can make life better for somebody else. Bless us so that we sing not to dance, but we sing to make a move. We sing to change the system. We sing to change policy. And we change, sing to make a better life for the generation that is yet unborn. Yes. We pray this prayer not in our own strength, but in the name of an innocent black man by the name of Jesus, yes. who was crucified by a government, who was threatened by a man who had power. Give us that same strength. In Jesus' name, amen.